So I've been working on the small Craftsman and I finally don't have to do a whole lot of work to it anymore. I got it fit with the hood on it. The headlights are ran. It's got hood pins with cushions so it doesn't rattle as much. I gotta be careful about lifting it though because it rests in the plastic when I lift it. And you can see I actually had to raise the hood and I welded up my own brackets and I know my welds are ugly, but I'm getting better. My water still is terrible. And uh, no, that actually that side looks pretty bad. But it, it's got solid connection. I had to weld these things back on too. I, I, I'm worried that these are gonna break off at some point. I didn't add extra material and I should have. Oh yeah, and the air box doesn't fit, so this is my crankcase breather filter, which it's been working because that's dirty up there. And this is my this is from a two, this is supposed to be a two-stroke racing carburetor air filter. And it fits perfectly over the Briggs and Stratton thing. So, yeah, uh, and I guess you can't really see my, I moved the gas tank back and I ran a bunch of wires and I blew my, when I was testing stuff, I blew my voltmeter and my tachometer out, but they, the sensor still works. There's a tachometer sensors right there. If I move the motor around, when that light shuts off, that's when the magneto's over it, so. That will make it count the RPMs. I'll have that soon. And, uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, and this. I'm gonna go to tractor supply and it'll be dark when I come back so I can test it out. Well, I'm back and that's what the lighting's like. That's long it took me to do a tractor supply run for food. Right, and it's not even dark out yet. It's getting there, but it's not there yet. This is the hood breaker. This spot here is the hood breaker. Stop before I broke anything. So yeah, those lights look awesome. They work awesome. They're great. Yeah, and really glad I got that working right.